Uh, one last question before I let you go, Matthew Collar, our insider for the Purple Insider, do a great job in covering the Minnesota Vikings. You talked about Kevin O'Connell, his offense. There's a player that he should be, you know, very familiar with that's available, potentially, in the great Debo Samuel. Do you see Quasi maybe thinking about, since the draft is in Vegas, rolling the dice and maybe trying to pull off a draft day trade for Debo Samuel? You know, I thought you were going to say Odell Beckham, who I think is uh, still a free agent, right? And that would yep. be something. But, uh, you know, the Debo Samuel thing is a kind of crazy, right? Like it just came out of nowhere that Debo Samuel would want out of San Francisco and every team has to be making that phone call to figure out what the price is. Yeah. If you are the Vikings and you can pair Debo Samuel with Justin Jefferson, if there's any possible way in this universe to do that, you should try to do that. How they would do that, I don't know. I mean, because not only do you have to factor in, like you have the 12th overall pick, that's got to be traded. I mean, considering what Tyreek Hill went for, that's what San Francisco is going to be looking for. So are you going to have to give up a next year's first, a next year's second two, and then you're hurting yourself long term uh, with a guy who already kind of has a lot of mileage as a young player and has been banged up as a young player as well, as explosive and incredible he as he is. I think it would be a super exciting move for the fans and it would mm-hmm. be unstoppable on offense. But it's tough to figure out, like, what's the package that they would have to give? Well, and also, San Francisco competes with you in the NFC. Do they want you to have their amazing player? Exactly. And, and Tyreek Hill went for one first, right? He didn't go for two first. It was a, what, a first? It was a first, a, a second, year, second a yeah. fifth. Yeah. So far, so when you look at the wide receivers that have been moved, Adams from Green Bay to the Raiders, Tyreek Hill from Kansas City to Miami, Only one first rounder has been included in those moves. So clearly San Francisco trying to get multiple first round picks won't happen. That's not the going uh, market for elite like wide receivers because Devontae Adams is is an elite guy. He's the number one guy and Tyreek Hill is in that conversation as well. You know, so if you're Minnesota, you got to surrender to 12, hands down. But if you look at the package that, Miami gave to Kansas City. And oh, by the way, I felt like Miami got away with high robbery based on what they gave up. If you're San Francisco, I don't think you should believe you can get the same thing for Tyreek Hill because Tyreek Hill is a different player. Debo Samuel had a phenomenal year last year, but Tyreek Hill has done it more. And he has the element of speed. So if if you're San Francisco, you might try to get like four picks, but only one would be a first rounder. Yeah. I mean, you might be right. I guess if I'm San Francisco, my price is even higher because Debo Samuel is younger. And if you sign him to an extension now, you can have still a couple of years of him being very reasonable cost wise where Devonte Adams and Tyree kill, like they're yeah. immediately two of the ex- most expensive. And also like Kansas city and green Bay kind of had to do it where Devonte Adams wasn't going to sign a contract with them. Uh, what, what are you going to really do there? Are you going to franchise tag him? Or are you like, how are you going to deal with this? And the same thing with Tyreek Hill, Kansas City, they're having Mahomes' contract shoot up through the roof for how much he's getting yeah, paid. Yeah, but, but, but remember, Matthew, Tyreek was still in the contract. Right, right. He so, was. Yeah, yeah, he was. So let me ask you this question. Would you, if you're Quasey, would you give up a one and a two for Debo? Mm. I mean, like pairing him with Justin Jefferson. Yeah, I probably would. I mean, as they deal with the cap implications later, you're talking about a completely special player who's a game changer to go along with one of the most unstoppable receivers in the NFL. And I Alvin mean, Cook and Adam Thielen. You would you would you just have to do it. If that's if that is what it is, then you have to do it and you can figure out how to pay everybody later. But I mean, I really think that receivers are driving the success in the NFL. And then imagine this. Let's say Kirk a couple of years down the road, he's in his mid 30s, he retires or he moves on. And then you draft another quarterback and you say, Hey, rookie quarterback, guess who you get? Debo Samuel and Justin Jefferson. I think you'll be fine. Wow. Viking fans that are tuning in, checking us out, please hit us in our comments. Would you trade your one and your two this year for Debo Samuel? The great Matthew Caller has spoken. He said, no doubt he would.